Maybe I'll start by commenting on Palestine, Palestinian territories, West Bank, Judea, Samaria, maybe what to call this, and because this is the foundation or root of the answer um, that I will provide. In a recent post of one of my friends with talks of annexation and this sentiment that is being shared now by many Palestinians, um, basically what was written, is it called Palestine? Is it called Judea and Samaria? Is it called Israel, is it called occupied Palestine? Is it called the Palestinian territories? And then they end it by saying, what's important is that we are able to continue to call it our home. And so that's the essence of this all. In terms of the one state or two state solution, I think I saw in the questions as well, specifically about whether annexation being practiced or continue to being practiced kills the one two state solution. Um, and the answer is yes. It's very difficult for us to imagine the creation of a viable state or country when there is such a strong geographic discontinuity. And when the country doesn't have any borders of its own to control. And if the annexation continues, the creation of a Palestinian state would quote unquote be within the larger state of Israel, which means Israel would remain in control of the borders and would remain the middleman between Palestine and the international community. And that isn't sustainable or viable. In regards to the one state solution, it is very possible the two state solution in the current context, although very difficult is still possible, but it's not important whether it's a one state or a two state or a confederacy. What's important is what goes into any one of those systems. And so within this, what the Palestinians and I think the Israelis need is one, we need recognition of the past. For Palestinians, that means recognizing the very long history of suffering, of occupation, of marginalization, beginning from 1948, even under the British, under the Ottomans, till today. And within this, having recognition of many of the terrible events that we continue to live and experience and that continue to live in our narrative, that continue to live in our oral tradition. We need to reconcile the pain that comes out of these stories. Um, the other thing that we need is equal rights for all, regardless of nationality or regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of socioeconomic political background. And that is for me as a Palestinian living in the state of Palestine or under Israel, or as an Israeli living in Israel under the state of Palestine or under a new formation of both of these people, groups, and countries. And the last thing we need is the right of movement, the right to enjoy the whole of the land. And this as a Palestinian Christian I cannot imagine any sustainable, long-lasting future of peace that's based in justice in which Jerusalem is removed, in which Jerusalem is restricted from my access, or in which I cannot go and enjoy the beautiful Lake of Tiberias or the Sea of Galilee, whichever name we'd like to call it, or even to go and enjoy the desert in the south. And I would also like to believe that my Jewish brothers and sisters, same as my Muslim brothers and sisters, would also like to come and enjoy Bethlehem, to go and see Jerusalem. We should all have equal right to enjoy the entirety of the land and have our rights afforded, respected, and given to us regardless of what nation or what system of rule is actually on the land. Um, and maybe for the last question, is it possible? The wonderful answer is yes. You can't negotiate with an earthquake, with a hurricane, or with a drought, but you can negotiate with people. And this injustice has people behind it, and we can negotiate with these people, and we can work with each other toward justice. But to be able to reconcile our past and to move forward, as was said time and time again in this webinar, and as is part of the advocacy, we need your help, your support, and we need the international community's help and support to pressure Israel not to its knees, but instead to its senses and to help empower and bring the Palestinian voice to the fore so that it is heard.